Today's goal is to acquire the Platinum Trophy for the remake of a remaster. Yes, I will be acquiring the Platinum Trophy for The Last of Us on the PS5. The trophy list for this game is actually quite simple compared to previous versions of The Last of Us. There are 29 trophies in The Last of Us PS5 with no difficulty related trophies and no online multiplayer. Despite the lack of difficulty trophies, I still died quite a bit, so don't worry. It's been, what, nearly a decade since I played this game the first time. I never played the remaster, just the original version. And let me tell you, the graphics here look amazing. Throughout the game, there are several types of collectibles we need to complete, and the first one we encounter is an optional conversation. This is just a way for the game to dive deeper into all the characters and their backstories. We need 37 in total for the Getting to Know You trophy. Next up are the pendants, which earns us our first trophy. I actually missed the first one, but I just restarted from the last checkpoint, which lets me pick it up. There it is. I didn't miss it. We're good. Fallen fa Firefly. I can't read, apparently. First trophy of the game. This game will show you early on why you need a collectible guide. Several pendants are in trees. Am I looking up the right tree? Oh, I see it. It's, it's that right there. It, all right. This is a bad place to put a, a collectible. You have to shoot that one. To pick it. That's a bad place to put a collectible. But we got it. After that, we were sneaking around for a little while and admiring the graphics the whole time. It wasn't long before I came up to the next type of collectible, which was the safes. But of course this happened. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I ignored that clicker, which is what those enemies are called, and found the safe combo. I then proceeded to sneak past some enemies, taking out other enemies, and opened the safe, which had some pretty useful items. Soon after that, I came across the first workbench, which allows you to upgrade your weapons throughout the game. You need to use all workbenches for a trophy. Remember how I mentioned pendants were in trees? Well, they're sometimes hidden underwater, too. In the next chapter, we came across a locked door that we have to use a shiv to open. A shiv can be used as a weapon to silently kill clickers as well, but it's recommended to save them for these doors scattered throughout chapters. There you go. Thank you. Soon after that shiv door, we had another safe to open. And then a pretty cool and memorable scene from this chapter, if I do say so myself. Joel! Shit, here they come. Just change the rope! Our next trophy is yet another collectible called a training manual that enhances some of our tools. So up next we have to throw a brick. Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have to throw a brick up here for another hidden pendant. We were then sneaking around a school, taking out infected left and right, before this big ugly guy here took me out. My strategy this time was to throw molotovs and of course keep a distance, but then these guys attacked me. I whipped up the good old shoddy which did the trick. All right, we are coming up at the end of this chapter. There's a missable trophy here related to the collectibles. Couple things here. One, we had an optional conversation with Ellie, and then there's a note to pick up in the house, which is right over here in the bedroom. And then what we have to do is we have to take this note over to Frank, actually to Bill. The note is from Frank. Give it to him here. And then we just need to pick up that note over there. And there we go, in memoriam. In The Last of Us, we are able to craft items and tools whenever we need, and in the following chapter, we are able to get a trophy for crafting every item. There are also special conversations with Ellie where she pulls out a joke book and tells us some rather interesting jokes. We have to listen to these several times throughout the game. I stayed up all night wondering where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Oh, I get it. We got into some trouble with hunters and had a shootout to defend ourselves. But I had some trouble at first. With a little bit of strategy and good aim, I was able to win the encounter. Alright, so in this next session, we can't get seen. We have to stay in stealth mode. Okay. Let's try to take him out quietly. Hey, I'll follow your lead. Alright. Hey, how you doing? 
Just trying to keep warm. I like this part. It's a short part of the game, but I like it. I'm up to these guys over here. They're still. And then we simultaneously grab them. So I like it. It's pretty cool. And then right after that, we have to avoid this spotlight here, which really isn't too bad. We just have to stay around these cars. When the spotlight passes, we move up. And I believe I can just keep going. And we, we're doing pretty good here. I'll wait for this guy to get closer. And after taking him out, the generator is ours for the trophy. Boom. Lights out. God damn it. Those guys didn't like us messing with our generator, so we ran away into the sewers here to our next trophy. We simply have to bring Ellie to the other side, then swim back and join our friends to cross to the other side in time for our trophy to pop. Okay, so we should be getting a trophy to pop here right as soon as we finish upgrading this pistol because that'll be a fully upgraded weapon. And there we go, combat ready. I think this might be the last safe. All right, 36 and open. Need to see it pop. The end of this chapter before a time skip is pretty neat because of the sniper portion. I gotta say, it's pretty fun using the sniper because it's the only chance we get to use it the whole game. After the time skip, we come across a shiv door, swim to find another pallet to move Ellie across some running water, and leave Ellie hanging for the sake of another trophy. Sorry, Ellie. Really? Just gonna leave me hanging? Alright, let's see how it is. Just a five. Just a five seconds. Here comes the absolute best trophy in the game, and that's not up for debate. This next trophy is for upgrading every weapon in the game, then using it on enemies until they break. This hatchet was the final weapon for me to use on enemies, and the situation was really close. This is a good start. Let's go! Oh, I'm getting shot. Oh! This was not a good idea. There we go, build them up, break them down, we did it. We have this amazing scene here riding on horseback before skipping ahead here and hunting a deer as Ellie. This chapter is probably the most difficult in the game because of your limited supplies and weapons as Ellie while still fighting off plenty of infected. We even have a boss scene here before switching back to Joel to find this hunter begging to us. Oh shit, don't kill me man, please. Just let me go. And then yet another time skip, and we find these awesome guys here, and then acquire our next few trophies. That's okay, Ellie. Here's a pretty cool scene where we had to sneak past quite a few infected. before earning another trophy for the last workbench. All right. In the final chapter of part one, there's plenty of shooting and mayhem going on. We have to take out plenty of hunters and we have our final shiv door for another trophy. After running away with Ellie, we get our final comic for a trophy. And then another trophy soon after for completing part one. There are a few collectibles to clean up, but we'll worry about that after the quick DLC trophies. In the Left Behind DLC, we alternate between current day Ellie and past Ellie, where she is exploring with her friend Riley. Past is filled with a ton of optional dialogue, with plenty in this Halloween store. And then we have a couple miscellaneous trophies. Okay, so I just got to this point in the DLC here, and I know this is a trophy. We have to break the windows on our car here before Riley does for a trophy called Brickmaster. All right. So this trophy, you don't really have to rush. You actually have a lot of time because Riley yeah, misses like her that? throws. You just walk around, pick up some bricks, and then throw them at the windows. Right here should give us our trophy. Just a moment. Yes! Brick fucking master! My car we then have to listen to Ellie's jokes one final time for a trophy. All right. That's enough. There we go. That's all I got. Okay, so I thought I messed up. I don't need to play another chapter. I got them all done. Nice. Okay, this is another trophy right here. We have to play this Jack X machine. A lot of you guys on the channel know that I love the Jack series, so this is pretty cool. It's a nice little Easter egg. I like it. 
And there's our trophy. Nobody's perfect. Feel okay, so shot. I think we just have to hit Man these buttons him. here. Quickly, punch him in the back. They give us pre plenty of time to hit the button, so we're good. Oh, some of these buttons you have to hit at the same time. Okay. Oh, that one was tough. Well, that one is tough again. Okay. That should be enough for our trophy. Angel knives. There we go. Next trophy up is for winning a water gun fight against Riley. Oh, that was close. Oh, I didn't know where she was coming from, but we got our trophy. Oh, we just got our final no in artifact. Nice. I wasn't prepared for that trophy. I think this is another trophy right here. This should absolutely be another trophy right here. We got the effect of the chase the hunters and that should give us our trophy. There we go. Live bait. And that might be the final miscellaneous trophy. And then soon after that, I completed the DLC. I left out the cutscenes, of course, but we get our trophy. And now it's time to clean up a few collectibles. All right. This has to be the conversation I missed right here. God damn it. Warren. Okay, so the first pen is right here, and I can already spot it. <laughs> I don't know how I missed this the first time. I e I see it easily now. Just shoot this down, pick this up, and we may get a trophy too. There we go. Look for the light. This should give us our last conversation and our last trophy. Getting to know you. That is it. It can't be for nothing. This game is fantastic. Whether it should have been $70 or not is another debate.